If you're thinking about leasing a car but would like a little bit more information about how it works, I'm here to help with the Car Wow Top 10 Things You Need to Know About Leasing, which is also known as Personal Contract Hire, or PCH for short. Leasing is a bit like renting a car, only for a much longer period. For instance, contracts usually last between two and four years, and leasing is only available on brand new cars, which is exactly what I have here. Lovely, shiny, brand new cars. I'll take this one. A lease contract usually involves an initial payment, followed by regular monthly payments over the duration of the lease. Let's say you've got a three year term, which is 36 months. In your first month, in this particular case, you'd pay £1,800. Then for the next 35 months afterwards, you'll pay £200 until the end of the contract. Now this particular deal would be known as a nine plus 35 deal because you're paying nine times the monthly rate at the beginning and then 35 monthly payments of the amount, 200 pounds. A nine plus 35 deal. When you lease a car, you don't actually legally own it. The leasing company does. However, this can actually be advantageous because it gives you an extra layer of legal protection. So if there's a major issue with the car, it's the leasing company's responsibility to resolve it, not yours. The majority of lease deals come with free UK delivery arranged by the leasing company. So you don't have to go and trek over to a dealer to pick up your new pride and joy. If you don't want to, they'll bring it directly to you. Lease cars are covered by the same manufacturer back warranty as if you walked into the dealership and bought the car yourself. And as all major car brands offer at least a three year warranty and most lease deals only run for about three years, you should be covered for the duration of the agreement. When you arrange your lease, you can usually purchase maintenance packages to cover all your servicing costs over the duration of the lease. Now, these will add a few pounds to your monthly payments. However, they could save you money in the long run. The majority of lease agreements include road tax as part of the cost, so you won't have to faff around sorting out your renewal. Also, as new cars don't need an MOT until they're over three years old, if your lease agreement isn't longer than three years, you won't need to worry about MOTs either. You're responsible for sorting out your own insurance cover on your leased car. Just make sure you tell the insurer that the car is leased. If you're unlucky enough to have an accident, you just call your cover provider and they should do the rest. When the lease term comes to an end, you simply hand the car back to the leasing company. They'll be warned, you may be charged a penalty for going over any mileage allowance or for damage, which is seen as being beyond normal wear and tear. Now, the leasing company may then offer you another agreement on a new car. And this is one of the reasons why leasing is a great way to stay in a shiny brand new motor. Now, leasing won't be for everybody because you cannot end the agreement early. You have to keep on paying for the duration of the term. Also, at the end of the deal, you don't get the option to buy the car back, even if you really like it. They're still going to take it away. Now, if those two points bother you, click up there to get some more information on PCP Finance, where you can end the agreement early and you do get the option to buy the car. Overall, leasing can work well for you if you like to change your car regularly and you don't want the costs associated with keeping an older vehicle running. However, just make sure you can afford the monthly payments. Now, if you click up there, you can go to carwow.co.uk for more information and click either side of me for more of our helpful car wow guides.